Today we will study about the production technology of citrus. So in citrus, the production technology of citrus, we will discuss about the bottling, flowering, fruiting of citrus, the production techniques like the propagation method, what are the other production techniques, and we will also discuss about the problems that are associated with citrus fruit. So firstly, uh, the chemical name of citrus is citrus species. As there are so many species of citrus, we will discuss the those species in this lecture. Family of citrus is Rutaceae. So it belongs to family Rutaceae and chromosome number is 18. And the fruit type, type fruit type in citrus is known as Cascadian. You know down the uh, fruit type of citrus is Cascadian and the edible part of citrus is juicy placenta hairs. The juicy placenta hairs which are present inside of the of citrus fruit, the, this is the edible version of citrus fruit. Then pollination type uh, represents pollinated crop citrus, also known as monogamy. And uh, this is a non monocarrot fruit and having a mixed bearing habit. Means uh, it uh, bear uh, in the whole of the uh, tree is bearing in the uh, like middle of the uh, tree and the uh, terminal portion also so makes very habit and uh, there are number of fruits in this citrus group so main fruits of this group are lime, lemon, musambi, orange and mandarin, grapefruits and so on so many different fruits are associated with this group advanced technology that is uh, followed in citrus is tissue culture and micropropagation tissue culture and micropropagation are the methods used for propagation of citrus plants then uh, there is uh, also again advanced technology that is used in citrus that is pre-cooling pre-cooling means uh, uh, to cool the fruits after harvesting so that we can remove the field heat of the fruits so the method of pre-cooling that is uh, used in case of citrus is a forced air method forced air method of pre-cooling is used for pre-cooling purposes then transport and storage it can be stored for 8 to 10 weeks right and uh, this citrus fruit is uh, sensitive to refrigeration so the temperature uh, of uh, storage is uh, 8 to 10 degrees celsius and uh, if there is lower low temperature than 8 degrees Celsius or maybe 5 or 0 degrees Celsius then it, uh, the food will deteriorate very fast and it is also sensible uh, for, uh, for ethylene right so the fruit of citrus is sensible to refrigeration as well as ethylene next uh, let us talk about the center of origin of citrus species so there are different citrus species like sweet oranges mandarins limes lemon so different species are originated from the different uh, areas so sweet orange and mandarin are uh, uh, originated from china kagzi lime from india and uh, pomelo and lemon and many other varieties of citrus are uh, uh, originated from Southeast Asia then these are the countries which are the largest producers of citrus in the world so USA is largest producer of grapefruit and pomelo China is largest producer of mandarin Brazil is largest producer of sweet orange India is largest producer of acid lime and Italy is largest producer of lemon now let us introduce about this fruit okay india uh, ranks sixth in the production of citrus in the world right so uh, the uh, rank of citrus in india is a sixth in the world and the other major citrus producing countries are spain usa israel morocco south africa japan brazil turkey and cuba uh, in India, 
Citrus occupies third position after mango and banana in the production of fruits. Right. So the uh, India is largest producer of mango, followed by banana and followed by citrus. So citrus occupies third position after mango and banana. Uh, it was originated in the tropical and subtropical regions of the Southeast Asia, particularly India and China. And Northeast India is the native place of many citrus species. And uh, uh, this citrus fruit is rich in vitamin C. Okay. We, the major uh, growing states in India are Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Punjab, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Karnataka, Orissa, Bihar and Assam. <coughs> so this is the share of different states in the citrus production, right? So the highest produ uh, producer of citrus is Andhra Pradesh followed by Maharashtra and Punjab. And, uh, my maximum share of citrus is coming from Andhra Pradesh. Now, we are talking about the botanical classification of citrus. The kingdom is planty, division is Mangoli Phyta, class is Magnoli Cyta, subclass is Rosity, order Sapindales, family Rotisi, subfamily Orangeo Tendri tribe, citrate and genus is citrus and species are different. These are the different species of citrus which are of uh, import, which are economic, which have economic importance, right? So first group is sweet orange and the scientific name is citrus sinensis. Okay, in sweet orange there are different varieties coming under sweet orange. Right, uh, the common names that are coming under sweet orange are Valencia, Jaffa, Mosambi. These are coming under sweet orange, and the scientific name is Citrus sinensis. Then the other group is Mandarins. Mandarin. The scientific name of Mandarin is Citrus reticulata, and uh, again different fruits come under Mandarin group, and uh, this uh, uh, Kinno. King willow leaf, these come under mandarin. Mandarins are loose skinned citrus species, right? So, loose skinned citrus species are come under mandarins. Then, the next uh, species is citrus paradise, and the common name is grapefruit. Next is lemon, citrus lemon, and lime, citrus orange folium. So, these are the five main different groups of species in citrus right the, the major major groups you can say right so major five groups of citrus family are sweet orange mandarins grapefruit lemon and lime then next are minor cultivars minor cultivars of citrus one is pomelo that is uh, no, uh, the scientific name of pomelo is citrus maxima or citrus grandish the other one is citron scientific name is citrus matica next is tahiti lime citrus latifolia so these are the minor cultivars of citrus fruit the citrus fruit are very refreshing in nature they are delicious to taste delicious in taste uh, they are rich in minerals and vitamins especially high content of vitamin c is present in citrus fruits and it varies from 25 to 100 milligram right uh, per 100 ml of juice fruit juice contain sugar and acidity and the total soluble solid in this sweet fruit varies from 6 to 12 percent and acidity from 0.5 to 1.5 percent then there are the different benefits and uses of citrus fruits so citrus fruit contain high amount of flavor it has to improve the immune system fighting against forming of free radical causes of tumor and cancer right so it strengthens the small blood vessels protect against rheumatoid arthritis and reduces the risk of cell membranes being damaged caused by forming of free radical due to high amount of vitamin c it also reduces the risk of heart diseases and stroke as it lowers the bad cholesterol citrus peels are rich in pectin these are uh, used for valuable jelly jelly making 
मामलेड मेकिंग कैंडीज जैम्स एंड फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रेपरेशन नाउ वट आर द क्लाइमेटिक रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ सिट्रस सिट्रस इज सब ट्रॉपिकल क्रॉप एंड इट रिक्वायर अ मीडियम टेम्परेचर इट डज इट कैन नॉट टॉलरेट लो टेम्परेचर राइट सो सिट्रस आर सब ट्रॉपिकल इन रीजन एंड दे कैन नॉट टॉलरेट फ्रॉस्ट एंड मॉइस्चर इज ऑल्सो अ लिमिटिंग फैक्टर इन द सिट्रस प्रोडक्शन एंड सो सिट्रस रिक्वायर शॉर्टर डे एंड कूलर टेम्परेचर इन द विंटर्स फॉर अ नॉर्मल प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फ्लावरिंग शुड अकर ऑलमोस्ट एक्सक्लूसिवली इन स्प्रिंग एंड दी स्प्रिंग फ्लावर्स शुड प्रोड्यूस अ लार्ज फ्रूट क्रॉप सेवन टू ट्वेल्व मंथस लेटर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द क्लाइमेट देन सॉइल रिक्वायरमेंट्स सिट्रस ट्रीज कैन ग्रो इन ऑलमोस्ट एनी टाइप ऑफ सॉइल दैट आर वेल ड्रेन सफिशेंटली इरीटेड एंड अलाउ स्टैप रूट टू एलिट्रेट टू दिजायर डेप्थ सिट्रस कैन बी ग्रोन ऑन वाइड रेंज ऑफ सॉइल्स एंड द पी एच फॉर सिट्रस इज सिक्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव इज Growth, development, and production of plant depend upon the physical characteristics of the soil, such as its drainage system, density, texture, water holding capacity, structure, soil depth. Right. So all these characteristics are firstly examined, and then only we can plant a citrus orchard after the all the uh, checking all the requirements of the soil. Then manures and fertilizers that should be added to the uh, to a citrus plant, that is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. In the first year, 30 gram of nitrogen, 135 gram of phosphorus, and 13 gram of potassium are required uh, for a one year old plant. Then in the second year, the dose is increased. In the third year, again dose of all the fertilizers increased. and fourth year again those the requirement is more and uh, in the sixth year which is a full bearing tree the fertilizer requirement is the highest in the sixth year when plant bears fruits on it then micronutrient requirement in citrus is also there so micronutrients like zinc magnesium manganese iron and copper are also required so foliar application uh, foliar application of these micro nutrients can be applied uh, for zinc 1.5 kg of zinc sulfate 500 gram of magnesium 1.5 kg lime this can be added in water and can be sprayed during the month of may next the varieties uh, we have discussed about the five different uh, groups of citrus that is sweet orange mandarin grapefruit lime and fifth one was lemon here uh, i have added pomelo that was earlier discussed in the minor group so these are the five groups of uh, citrus and uh, they have different varieties in each group so first uh, group is sweet orange the scientific name is citrus sinensis right so these are the different varieties that, uh, which come under the sweet oranges the first is hamlin jaffa pineapple valencia mosambi satguri blood red smoothy washington navel wood cane so these all are the varieties come under sweet oranges and uh, uh, here some characteristics of these varieties have been given like hamlin was a chance seedling from florida it is a early variety it is smooth medium textured and apex is round then jaffa variety is mid season variety and suitable for hill region pineapple is a mid season variety valencia is a late season variety fruits are large round or slightly oval mosambi is popular in maharashtra and it is a, a best used as a root stock Uh, sorry best root stock for mosambi is rangpur lime right so these are the characteristics of different varieties of uh, sweet oranges next group is mandarin mandarin the uh, scientific name is citrus reticulata so these mandarins are loose skinned oranges right loose skinned orange are known as mandarins small tree small 2 to 5 meter in height 
leaves are small or weight flowers are white fruits depressed pulp is sweet so the uh, here different varieties of mandarin group are given like kulk khasi nagpur imperial sutwal sasuma kinnum so these all are the varieties of mandarin and uh, nagpur is the finest mandarin in the world okay note down that nagpur mandarin is the finest mandarin in the world okay uh, imperial was introduction from australia satwal was introduction from nepal right so these are the different varieties of mandarins king mandarin tangerines these all are the mandarins uh, the next one is grapefruit grapefruit okay grapefruit the citrus paradise okay scientific name is citrus paradise grapefruits are closely related to pomelo grapefruit and pomelo are uh, almost similar right uh, they are they both of these are big sized fruits okay and grapefruit the name of grapefruit is because because it bears like grapes in the bunch uh, in a bunch of two or three fruits so that's why its name is grapefruit and uh, uh, this grapefruit is used as breakfast fruit the juice has characteristic flavor with wild bitterness right the plants are spreading in length of 10 to 15 meter petioles broadly winged flowers axillary fruit is large 8 to 25 cm in diameter it is greenish or pale white pale yellow in color when it ripe green is thinner and pulp vesicles smaller than most of the cultivated uh, citrus okay so these are the varieties of uh, grape fruit the marsh thompson pink flash so these are the varieties of grape fruit next group is lime lime are represented by mexican group the hickory group and mandarin limes limes uh, there are different groups of lime so first is acid lime or kagzi lime uh, the scientific name of acid lime is citrus orangifolia swingle swingle means swingle and the nut are the two scientists who have given the classification of citrus so swingle is the name of scientist who has given the classification of citrus so citrus orangifolia this classification was given by swingle that's why swingle is added in this group as a lime is the most important acid fruit of tropics it is tender of all citrus fruits right varieties of as a lime are pramalini vikram chakradhar pkm1 sai sarbati jay devi so these all are the varieties of uh, is in line and here some characters of these varieties are given like pramalini is a tolerant to cancer disease of citrus chakradhar is a seedless variety of is in line size and beauty is tolerant to tristeza virus tristeza virus is a biggest problem in citrus cancer citrus cancer is also a biggest problem disease this is a disease in citrus so size and beauty is tolerant to both of these diseases Jai Devi is a variety of is in line and it has a pleasant aroma. Uh, next in the line, the other group, line me next group is Tahiti line. The scientific name is Citrus latifolia. The uh, this classification was given by Tanaka. That's why Tanaka is added. Okay. So this group refers in many characters from the true lines. The trees are larger, more spreading. These are cold resistant and the, these are nearly thornless. Then Rangpur lime. This is again uh, the classification of lime in another group. Rangpur lime, Citrus limonia. Rangpur lime is indigenous to India and commonly grown for root stock purpose. Right. So Rangpur lime, that is Citrus limonia, is grown for root stock purpose. So mostly uh, in citrus. Root stock that is used in Rangpur lime. Sweet lime, citrus lamentors, and again tabaka, tanaka. The uh, this they are similar to the hippie limes, but these are sweet. The varieties of sweet lime are mitha chikna, mitotra. The next uh, species of citrus main group is pomelo, citrus grandis, right? Pomelo is a valuable rootstock for drylands. Again, it is used for 
the purpose of roots or in the dry lands the fruit may be used in making marmalade the tree are spiny spreading 5 to 15 meter in height leaves of the lower large petioles are broadly winged flowers are large so the important cultivars of pomelo are walter chakaya large red fleshed large white fleshed and gills jellico so these are the varieties of pomelo then next other species of citrus is lemon citrus limon <coughs> Varieties of citrus lemon are classes classed on the basis of fruit and tree characters into four groups. These are again lemon is grouped into four groups: Eureka group, Lisbon group, Anomalous group, and Sweet lemon. First one is Eureka lemon. The trees of Eureka lemon are medium in size. These are spreading in nature, open and almost thornless. Eureka is heavy yield and begins. Early in age, okay. This is a heavy yielder, and uh, fruits normally mature from August onwards in Punjab. Lisbon lemon. These are large and vigorous trees, spreading in nature. Fruit color is lemon yellow. Pulp is fine grained, pale greenish yellow. Juice is abundant in this variety. Clear and very acid quality. Excellent. And seed number is zero to ten. so these all were the different varieties of different groups of citrus right so the uh, which are the main five groups first is sweet orange then mandarin grapefruit lime lemon and pomelo so these are the different main groups of citrus and uh, we have already discussed about the different varieties come under all these groups of citrus now we will talk about the propagation of citrus so propagation in citrus is uh, done both by seed as well as by vegetative means right uh, seed propagation is done only in some species that is in lime okay so <coughs> mainly shield or tea budding is the most commonly used method of vegetative propagation in case of citrus so this budding is generally done in spring or in september right so the main propagation method of citrus is tea budding or shield budding and it is done in the month of september or in early spring uh we're talking about the propagation firstly we have to raise the seedlings so how to raise seedlings seedlings are raised from the seeds okay the for for roots of purpose okay so freshly extracted seeds are sown on well prepared nursery beds at a distance of 20 by 10 cm and 1.5 to 2 cm deep so seeds are extracted from the fruit and then the seeds are sown in the well prepared nursery beds at a distance of 20 by 30 cm and uh, these are uh, Soon, about 1.5 to 2 centimeter deep. The germination of uh, these seedlings complete within three weeks. Apogamic seedlings are identical to the parent in growth and production. Seedlings are ready to transplant after nine to six to nine months after sowing. Okay, and seeds are sown in seed bed during July August. So. after 6 to 9 months of sowing these uh, seedlings are ready for transplanting and these are transplanted during the month of july august okay then from these seedlings root stocks are uh, taken okay so what are, what will be the root stock characteristics so root stocks must be compatible with the sign variety or line good growth long root yield and good fruit quality seeds must be readily available preferably high polygonic in nature so that we can get a uniform seedling with high percentage of germination right these root stocks must be adaptable to wide range of soil depth texture structure ph salinity moisture and nutrient supply and must be resistant to soil borne diseases such as phytophthora germicis so uh, these root stock must be resistant to some diseases also here are the some, some of the root stock they that are taken in case of citrus and here uh, 
some of the characters of these fruit stalks are also given so rough lemon rough lemon is used as a rough root stalk in citrus and this root stalk is suitable for light soils and infertile soils and this root stalk is resistant to tristeja virus and but it is more susceptible to cold and induces poor quality food fruits right so the uh, rough lemon is resistant to tristeza virus but it is susceptible to cold right then sour orange this if this uh, root stalk is taken then what characters can be obtained this is suitable for silty clay and poorly aerated soils and it improves the food quality and has high sugar and acid content improves the food soils also then next is the cleptra mandarin when cleptra mandarin is used as root stalk uh, where we can use this root stalk in the heavy soils so this cleptra mandarin is suitable for heavy soils then trifoliate orange trifoliate orange is also taken as a root stalk and uh, this is cold tolerant improves the food quality has higher sugar content sugar and acid content has in the food maturity food size and it also induces precocity resistant to citrus nematode and uh, it is uh, ideal for high density plantation right so uh, if we are using trifoliate orange we can uh, recommend high density plantation also right so these are the different root stalks now on these root stalks budding tea, tea budding or shield budding is done so how this budding is done we have to take a sign bud this is how we can take the bud this is a sign that is bearing color with a knife we can take a bud from the sign then it is inserted in the root stalk and polythene tape is uh, and it is covered with the polythene tape so in this pattern of propagation a bud from the desired variety is transferred on the root stalk right so bud is taken from the desired variety that is mother plant and it is transferred on the root stalk so what is the objective the objective is to obtain a vigorous root system of the root stalk and combining the best characters of both right of both like the root stalk and the sign a plump but not too elongated bud is selected from the middle section of the sign shoot it is removed by making an incision around the bud with the help of knife on the selector root stalk t shaped incision is made just enough to accommodate the bud the bud is inserted in this incision and tied with a strip of plastic film in such a way that the tip of the eye remains open right so bud eye bud eye should remain open it should not be covered with that polythene or plastic film so eye should remain open budding should preferably be done as low as possible on the root stalk so on the lower side of the root stalk budding should be done now from where we can take this bud wood for budding so the we should take uh, bud wood from the parent trees which hold a record satisfactory production over a period of at least 5 years right so the production level of the uh, trees from which we are taking the sign or bud wood the production should be satisfactory from last 5 years these trees should be free from any systematic diseases and have true type fruit characters right so only from those plants we should take bud wood next is layout of citrus orchards what kind of layout of citrus of citrus orchard should be there so before planting an orchard we should uh, check all that uh, all the facilities are there like irrigation facilities are there okay so uh, we should check for the sprinkler irrigation or pipeline system or all the basin system of uh irrigation of flood irrigation these all are the um, suitable for citrus orchard and we should uh, check for the for these kind of irrigation systems that uh, is already existing or not then the square and rectangular planting systems are applicable to citrus orchard 
with the exception of the system the square system which is preferable where sprinkler irrigation is used the rectangular system is at present above other systems because the smaller planting distance in the tree road increases the number of tree plants per hectare so i think we already you have already know about the different systems of planting so in citrus square system as well as rectangular system of planting is used square system is used when we have to uh, use a sprinkler system of irrigation whereas if we want a high density plantation then we should follow rectangular system with the twin system you can say so plant density for oranges normal spacing is 6 by 6 meter and the plant population will be 275 plants per hectare for sweet sweet lime the normal spacing of fruit trees is 5 by 5 meters and the plant population will be 400 plants per hectare for lime and lemon <clears throat> as these plants are somewhat smaller in size so normal spacing is 5 4.5 meter by 4.5 meter and the plant population will be 494 plants per hectare in very light soils spacing may be 4 by 4 meter in fertile soils and high rainfall area spacing may be 5 by 5 meter so this is the different spacing uh, recommendation for the different citrus groups and in different types of soils also next is the techniques that are used for gaining most of the production so the techniques are pruning and training so pruning is done in citrus to remove the diseased and dead twigs dead branches and uh, the dead leaves which are unproductive and are less exposed to sunlight so best time for pruning is during the dry season or after harvesting right then training so ac line is trained to modify it central ladder system with a smooth trunk up to 70 to 100 cm high from ground level and with four to five well spaced branches so this is how this is the modified central ladder system there is one central ladder and other are the branches and central ladder is cut from a height of more than 1.5 meters in lemon training system uh, that is followed is a open ladder system and the trees are trained to form a low head open center crown which can harvest maximum sunlight so this is how open ladder system is uh, of the plants so from the trunk only 50 to 60 cm from the trunk the three or four main branches are taken and uh, these are known as scaffolds first scaffold second scaffold and third scaffold and on these scaffolds the secondary and tertiary branches are there so this can harvest maximum light on each part of the plant next is irrigation so irrigation uh, varies from the tree age and uh, the season okay so during the first 6 months tree should be irrigated twice a week and there are after every 7 days irrigation basin should be gradually enlarged as the tree grows so when the tree grows basin should be enlarged uh, be careful do not damage the fine superficial feed roots at the time of irrigation okay so saturated and poorly drained conditions could result in root rot and lack of moisture during october may result in acid fruit so if a sprinkler is used about 30 mm of water must be applied every 7 days depending on the weather next is harvesting so after flowering fruit mature in 6 months fruit uh, uh, whenever when the tree uh, come in the flowering 
Then after about six months, the fruits are mature. And in North India, the main harvesting season is in the month of August, September. And the greenish yellow fruits picked by hook. These fruits can be picked by hook or manual picking can be done and six to eight pickings uh, per season can be done. Yield of citrus varies with so many factors like species, variety, location, age, management practices, use stock use, etc. So average yield of different citrus is given in the next slide. So average uh, yield of sweet orange is 150 to 200 fruit per plant for mandarins. Uh, 350 to 500 foods per plant, limes 500 to 2500 foods per plant, grapefruit 200 to 300 foods per plant, and pomelo 100 to 250 foods per plant. So, this is the yield of foods per plant. So, this is all regarding the production technology, right? So, uh, in next lecture, we will discuss about the problems that are associated with citrus right so this is all for today's class